Hey y'all, I'm Dominique Green with Puppy Panda Crochet Co. And this is the secret yarnery tag, the 10 question tag. I was tagged by Me So Crazy, so I guess here we go. The first question is, are you a morning star or a night owl? I do not like to wake up early. <laughs> that saying, I do not like to go sleep super duper late. So I'm not really either, but I mean, when it comes to going to work or school, I like to do it sooner rather than later. So I have the rest of the day to do whatever I like, like play with these little cuties. I got core right here. The next question is, what is your favorite time of day to crochet? With me not being either a night owl or a uh, morning person. I like to crochet at all hours, except for past nine o'clock, if I can. I usually crochet probably midday when I'm eating or at between breaks of school. So I get like two hours in the middle of the day with school. And I also crochet um, after dinner time is a good time, but as I said, I don't have a specific time mm -hmm. that I like. Oh, you got a lot. Next, I have, have you ever attended a crochet or yarn event? No, I have not, but I do attend craft shows, and sometimes there can be another crochet artist or a knit artist, but most of the time there's only sewing artists. And I'm the only crochet artist. Next is what crochet item would you suggest making to sell at a craft fair or online? Um, craft fairs always go for the bees. So these bees always sell. My very first crochet fair, I made 10, sold out within 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was a bee festival. Um, also what's a good make would maybe be these lovies. So these are the Zelda NRJ3 pattern. Um, lots of people like them. You can get the stuffed animal relatively cheap and lots of people enjoy them. I also enjoy making my chunky foxes and my chunky raccoon, um, pandas. Those are very fun to make and everyone loves them. They are a little bit on the pricier side, so it's a 50-50 chance on if people would enjoy them. Okay, for online, I have not been having any luck really with my Etsy shop. Um... Pretty much the only things that are selling on my Etsy shop would be my patterns, and that's been slowing down. And then I've had a couple orders for my um, small stain race. So, I mean, it all just depends on the season. I would definitely stick with probably the um, digital patterns, cheaper stuff since inflation is going up and all of that, no one really wants to spend as much. But hopefully during Christmas time, everyone will be taking up these dinos or even the bees. Um, next question is, do you snack while you crochet? I do not snack while I crochet because I'm afraid of getting different types of particles on my crochet since I do sell everything. I just want to be safe with um, anyone that's allergic. So I don't want to get different food on them. Like people have peanut allergies and if I'm snacking on some pistachios, the particles from the pistachios can get in the item and then they can break out and have an allergic reaction. So I usually take a break from my crochet to take a snack or food or any of that. 
Next I, question is, how do you choose the colors for your projects? I don't. <laughs> I just choose whatever colors that I really want to use. Like the bees, someone said make a poovy, which we need a poo. I got my red and yellow. So that's how that one came up. Um, for these vests right here, I just picked up a random skein of yarn. Well, cake of yarn from Hobby Lobby. And I just wanted to make an entire vest out of it. So I got a couple of them. And then also for this yarn right here, this rainbow yarn, I picked up thinking that I wanted to make one of my Timothy the T-Rexes out of it. Because that would look adorable and people would like that. So it's just, I go to the store and then decide what I want to make out of the yarn. Sometimes I just go shopping randomly and pick out some random stuff. <laughs> the next question would be, how do you stay motivated between big crochet projects? I have too many big crochet products, uh, projects to count. I got a corn to corn graph can of Stitch that I'm making my boyfriend. And I also started another blanket. I have a blanket up there that's been in the make since 2020, maybe. But I mean, I'm always making the small plushies constantly. So I crochet what sells, and then if I have time, I crochet my bigger items. But I mean, I just randomly jump from plushie to plushie, maybe stop for a few minutes to crochet on my blankets. Next question is if you could only use two colors of yarn, what colors would they be? I would definitely stay with my blues and probably whites. But I do like variegated colors like this doe on the dino or my shawls over here. But I mean, I love blue, I love purple, but white is such a basic. But you can mix any type of blue with white and it will turn out good. Um, the next question is where's your favorite place to crochet? Since I still live with my parents, I can't really crochet anywhere other than my room. So I usually crochet at my desk in my room or in my bed. Um, if I do have the house to myself, I sometimes like to crochet in the living room and watch some TV. And I also always sew in the dining room. <laughs> so I'm all over the house when I choose but most of the time I'm usually just in my room because I got this to look at. <laughs> Next question, the last question actually would be, what crochet project have you made that you can make again and again and again? That would be actually any of these. So my bees, I have like a million of. The dill and the dinos, I made a couple times. Um, I made this about 10 times already. Really anything. These loveys you can make in any type of color. They all look different. But I mean, I have so many patterns. Um, the ones that I would probably go to would be the bees. Um... My Chunky Panda and Fox by Spin a Yarn. And then I've been liking my turtles. My Chunky Turtles. But yeah. Everything is amazing. Um, that is all the questions. I will um, try to see who hasn't been tagged and tag them down below. I'm going to see if um, 
Lisa from Happy to Hug Creations has been tagged, or even Caroline from For the Love of Crochet, or even Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast. So I'll go see if they've been tagged, and then I'll tag them in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.